Hello! In this video I will show you how to use the scanner with stitch assist and optical character recognition. I will show the following in this video and in the upper right corner of the screen you can find the full playlist on Canon scanners. The model used in this video was already installed with drivers and software to Windows 10 computer. Inkjet Scan Utility is your tool for scanning. And my setup was done in video part 3. In the settings you can preset the shortcuts on the inkjet scan utility with different settings as well as you can preset the easy buttons on the scanner. More details about inkjet scan utility you can find in the video on how to use in the upper right corner of the screen. While AutoScan automatically detects the type of original and adjusts the settings, in the custom mode all the settings I preset myself. In the scan mode I have all the possibilities from photo and document scan menu and it's best to just leave auto. What I recommend to use custom scan is in the application settings. I usually use it to scan to my cloud folder. And when I scan, the file will be saved to my Dropbox folder in preset PNG format. and then it will be automatically synchronized to the cloud. The next option from the Inkjet Scan Utility is Stitch Assist or how to scan A3 format with A4 scanner. In my first demonstration I scan the document into the PDF. The on-screen instruction guide you how to put the original on the scanner. After scanning two pages I can adjust the stitch and save my document to the PDF. In the second stitch demonstration I will change my settings and scan a photo. This photo has been printed using one of the Canon professional photo printers 
and you find video about it on my channel in the upper right corner of the screen. Again, I scan both sides of the A3 photo and the software will stitch them together into one image file. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the quality and details. Also the black background is very black. Before I move to the second part of the video, find more useful videos and information in the web manuals. There is a lot of content out there to be checked about the printers as well. I recommend checking getting the most from your scanner section from the web manuals. In the second part of my video, I will use the OCR function. I put original document with some text and graphics on the scanner. The optical character recognition can be used when scanning document to PDF and when OCR option is selected. Let's go into settings for document scan where you find the option create a file that supports keyword search. And in OCR settings you find output to text. Let's see what kind of results these settings will bring to the screen. Of course this OCR is not advanced software but it can manage the basic expectations of the scanner user. I have selected OCR and the result is the pure text recognized from the original document. This is very practical as I can now easily copy and paste this text to other documents. To scan to PDF I use easy button on the scanner. I scan only one page, but multiple pages can be scanned as I did in one of my previous videos. The result is searchable PDF file, with the same layout as original but I can also copy the text into other files. And that would be all in this video. Find more about scanners and printers on my channel. Feel free to comment, like, ask questions and subscribe so I can create more videos like this. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.